Welcome everyone to another cracking unboxing and yet again it's 40k yes that's right it's one of my main loves and today this is probably my favorite unit on sprue in a way because there's so many different options this is the stone guard veterans and I think this kit is boss got a couple of these kits already but there's so many different options it's totally worth magnetizing so straight away I'm gonna get rid of this shiny crinkly stuff horrible stuff and we'll start talking about the Stone Guard. So this box came out in about 2013. So it's not the newest box out there, but I do think it's really cool, the amount of stuff you get in it. So on the back, I have a few pictures of a few different options being used. And you can see that there's a grav weapon there. So it looks like a combi grav possibly. Uh, you didn't see graphs too much in 8th edition. Uh, I know they were really, really good on Centurions, and they kind of faded out a little bit. But I think they're going to come back again. So grav weapons are brilliant against things that are heavily armoured. We'll get into that in a bit when we talk about the rules. Uh, you've got your classic heavy bolter there. Everyone loves a heavy bolter, and recently they've gotten a lot better. Obviously you have your regular bolt guns, but these guys generally stomp around with combi weapons and they're quite the Swiss Army knife so you can have like heavy flamers which is still my favorite looking heavy weapons option for the uh, the old marines the older basic marines so I would say the Astartes marines rather than Primaris or mini marines whatever you guys want to call them um, I still think it's just like a cool pose it just looks really nice and they got a bit more range now which is nice. But yeah, I mean, you can have combi plasmas, combi melters, combi grav, and of course they have the special issue ammunition as well. Right, let's have a looky what we got. Whoop. Get rid of that just for a second. So usual transfer sheet, and what's the chances these are gonna be ultramarines? Ooh, ah, ooh, for once, the older sheets actually had Ultramarines, Dark Angels, Blood Angels, Imperial Fists, and the like. So it's not just Ultramarine sheet. I'm dissing Ultramarines, I'm just saying, that seems to happen a lot. Right, so two sprues in this set, and mini bases. So you notice now, bases for these guys are a little bit bigger. So they used to be 25 mil. That's what they fly you in this kit. Now they are 32 mil, which I think makes the old Marines look a bit cooler. Before, as you can tell on the destruction booklet, you can see they're just about hanging over the base. Now with the 32 mil, they just look a little bit meaner. I know they're the same size, but the base is bigger. But somehow, it still makes the model look bigger. Plus, you can make it a bit more of a diorama or a mini diorama on the base. But we'll get into the sprue, move that out of the way. So this kit is phenomenal because you've got your Terminator style shoulder pad. They're all obviously all veterans, but you can see there's a double headed Imperial Eagle there. There looks like um, a Roman-esque, so that'd be quite ultramarine shoulder pad. Another Eagle. There is scrolls, there is the classic studs. There as well for your good old veterans. Um, there's brilliant symbols on there. Loads and loads of different options. So in this kit alone, how many shoulder pads are we rocking? Uh, so it's just these shoulder pads. So you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now, as you can probably imagine, it's a squad. So there's only 5 men in the squad. So you've got 16 shoulder pads. So you can afford to use 10 of these. But what I like to do is try to make two squads out of this kit. Because in this kit you'll find, yes, you've got your five options of legs there as well, which they generally have the cloak in between. Uh, but if you mix it up, and you can put regular legs in the squad as well, you can easily get 10 men out of the squad. Or, uh, if you're pretty good at green stuff, you always green stuff some cloaks 
on some regular legs, and you can definitely get a 10 man unit out of this. So you've got your different torso options as well. Um, so these look wicked. So there's a few different variants of the uh, marks of armor here. And you've got the high gorget as well, or neck collar. Um, like on this one here, I'm not sure if gorget was the right term. Probably butchered that. Um, but yeah, there's loads of different options. I mean, you can make something look extremely ultramarine for a start using a sword like that and the like um, the Roman esque style shoulder pad. I mean, you can make something look very blood injury and go for something that has like the scroll on it, things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, you can make them look a little bit Raven Guard because there's double headed eagles and stuff like that. You know, you can lean towards one particular style or you can just use whatever you think's cool. Uh, different heads as well, they've got wicked looking heads on here. So, not like the Space Marine Scouts, they look naff or anything with the massively square jewels. These guys, there's a guy there with a mohawk, that looks wicked. Bold head, crew cut, beard. There's some great poses. There's a, just a regular fist there. You don't get that very often. Looks like it's just punching something. There's a fist there holding a grenade. Fist uh, pointing, actually, a pointy finger. There's loads and loads of different character kind of options. If you just want to make a few characters, you could do that. Or you can keep them as stone guard. The heavy weapons there. So you've got your heavy bolter, heavy flamer. And I do think the bolters in this, the special issue ammunition bolters, look boss. All it took was a, like a different magazine change, a scope or a strap or something. And they just look so much cooler than standard bolters. Not as anything wrong with a standard bolter, but hey ho. Uh, so yeah, you've got your little um, headpiece there as well you can put on on your standard helmets and make them look a bit more ultramarine-y. Speaking of your regular helmets, you've got your classic beaky there, a little veteran look to that one. A reef or something on top of his head. But I just love this kit. You've got um, little magazines you can stick on the hip. You can have um, belts of ammunition as well. So this is the combi section. So you've got your combi grav, you know, combi flamer, combi plasma. I do like the combi flamer. I think that looks pretty cool. See a little gauge on the side. Kind of looks a little bit like aliens when they check the, the round counter on the side. There's a couple more different head variants there. So you've got two there. And you've got uh, two, four, six... 8, 10, 12, and you've got 13 different heads, I think, in this kit to choose from, which is pretty nice for a 10-man unit. Sorry, 10-man unit, 5-man unit. And then you've got your standard weapons, um, I say standard, standard special weapons. Uh, so you've got your plasma, your melter, so you don't just have to have combi. Uh, but for the same amount of points at the moment, I'm not sure why you wouldn't take the combi. For this unit, unless they're going to FAQ it or change it in some way. But there's so many different options in this kit. I do love this kit. I think what I'm going to do um, when I start making these guys up is start green stuff in standard legs. Just so I can make this squad into a 10 man squad. Put these guys in a drop pod is wicked. Because if they drop in, let's say it's the second Doctrine, so Bolters have an extra AP. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool options. I've got to keep saying those words because I'm still in awe of this kit. I've had loads of these kits. I'd say loads, probably two, three over the last god knows how many years. But the backpacks look slightly cooler than the standard. But you could always customize your standard ones with there's a little purity seal and stuff on the back. So why not change them up a little bit? Make some of your standard marines just look a bit more epic, slightly cooler. But yeah, loads of different poses in this kit. You're only limited on your imagination, I believe. So you get power fists, 
different pistol types, plasma pistol, grav pistol. I'm not sure up until this stage, up until 2013, that grav weapons are really around that much. Uh, I'm pretty sure you couldn't get a grav pistol anywhere. But you'll still find these bits on eBay, someone splitting this kit up. And there's some wicked poses, a nice storm bolter as well, so why not have four shots from a bolter? It really is a cracking kit. Right, should we start talking about some rules? Okay, so these guys normally come as a five man unit. The basic unit is 100 points, so for five men, that's not bad, that's okay. And with that, they come with a veteran sergeant with a bolt pistol and a special issue bolt gun. Everybody else has a special issue bolt gun. So what do I mean by the special issue? Well, the good old special issue bolt gun. That's really easy for me to say, like a dozen times over. In 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 the in the um, the turn where you can get extra AP for bolter guns in your second turn. Um, that's that's pretty awesome. Minus three AP. So you put them in a drop pod. Um, let's say get line breaker. You know, that's four points right there because the drop pod counts as a unit. Two models over your your opponent's deployment line. Uh, so that's four points. And then these guys are just going to start hosing stuff down. So the rapid fire, like most bolters are, the thirty inch range, which is pretty impressive. They're going to drop in. You know, they're going to have two shots each. They're fairly reliable hitting hitting on threes. You might have a captain nearby because they are a core unit. Rerolling those ones, and it's going to have minus three, which is pretty damn good. If you're shooting against marines, fantastic. But you have to remember, even the old marines now have two wounds. So these guys now have two wounds each. So nothing to be sniffed at. But a special issue bow gun only does one damage, and still, still pretty cool. It's not even bad shooting out vehicles, you know. I know it's only strength four, but still, they could have a storm bolter, which is rapid fire too, so they could get four shots. But they've got no AP with that. So any time you have a combi weapon, you do not have any AP, which is a bit, meh, you know. Um, your weapons like flamers and things like that are five points. The combi flamer is also five points. So I don't really understand why you would not take the combi flamer over the flamer. Uh, but things like grav and melt and things like that are ten points. Rather than five points for the grav. I mean, why, why combi grav over regular grav, for example? I mean, I, I can't really see a difference. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if it's a combi weapon though, the bolter side of it is only range 24 now, not 30, and it loses its AP, so it's a zero AP as standard, which is a bit sucky, but if you've got the option of grav or combi grav, I would take the combi grav, because you've still got that option of, if you want to shoot with both parts of the weapon, or if you don't want to waste your bullets, let's say you're going up against... Gaunts, you're not going to want to waste the grav. You might want to hose them down with a bolt of fire instead. Just more shots. But the grav gun itself, for example, is range 18, which is pretty nice. Rapid fire 1. So if you do drop pod in, you're going to have two shots of this thing. It's strength 5, which is pretty good against marines, things like that. You know, extra to wound. AP 3, which is always nice. Damage is 1. Which, eh, you know, it's okay. But each time an attack is made with this weapon, and it's allocated to a model with a save characteristic of 3 or better, that attack has damage of 2. So you're going against Marines, that's a pretty nice weapon. You know, AP3, as normal this is. You know, not in any special doctrines or anything like that. <sighs> Which is pretty nice. AP3 is always tasty. Strength 5, you're wounding slightly better than a Marine. I think this is a pretty much a marine killer, which is nice. Um, I don't think this unit is mega expensive, and I think it really needs to see some table time, because they are glorious models. 
Uh, with your heavy weapons, you can always go with something like a heavy bolter. And these days, a heavy bolter is 2 damage. That's right. Strength 5, AP 1 is standard, range 36, 2 damage. But remember, because they're infantry, they do suffer with the heavy weapons. So we drop pod them in, for example. That still classes movement. So minus 1 to hit. But it is what it is. Still three shots from those things, which is pretty tasty. Um, the weapon options are, you have your special issue ammunition bolt gun, or, like I said, you have a choice of combis, so flamers, gravs, melters, and plasma are all five points. The storm bolter is three points, which I think is a steal. It's lots and lots of shots. If you know you're going up against an opponent that has gaunts, for example, Really squishy. Yes, it's got no AP, but four shots per dude. Yeah, you're just going to plow the road. Each guy has four shots, for example. They all had storm bolters. Wouldn't be mega expensive. And that's lots and lots of shots going out there. Um, if you do go with a heavy weapon slot, it's still 20 points for a dude, which is the same as what they normally are. Plus, you've got to buy your weapon on top. Um, so the weapon options on the heavy slot is Grav Gun. Sorry, for this is a special slot. Grav Gun, Melter Gun, Plasma Gun. And they're all 10 points. And most people know what they do. So it's not, I'm not going to run down each weapon option because these guys have loads. But I still wouldn't pick them over the combi variants because they're more expensive. Maybe someone's missed a trick here. Maybe I've missed a trick here. Please tell me if I'm doing something wrong. But I can't see the difference between a grav gun and a combi grav gun. But hey ho. And the flamer is five points. But if you go on the heavy weapon side of things, you can go with the heavy flamer, which is ten points, or the heavy bolter. So heavy flamer, I think, is pretty good now. Um they have increased the range on the Heavy Flamer, so it's now 12 inches, which is wicked. So if you do deep strike in, you know, that that's still going to meet its mark. You know, you're going to be 9 inches away from somebody, you're going to toast them. So it's Heavy D6, so D6 number of shots as per normal with a Heavy Flamer. Strength 5, AP 1, 1 damage. So, it's always tasty with a weapon that auto hits. If you drop a heavy flamer in this unit, plus, like I said, that guy does look cool. Drop him behind, flame a load of people in the back. Who wouldn't be happy about that, right? So, that's that's the, the shooty option, anyway. And, of course, when it comes to the veteran sergeant, the guy in the middle there, you can have lightning claws, power axes, power fists, power mauls, power swords... I mean, you don't see power mauls very often, but I do like a good old power maul. So no one really ever talks about them, but um, it's strength plus three, which is always nice. So if you strength four, plus three, that's pretty damn tasty. AP one, yeah, okay, and one damage. But if you're going up at some veteran stuff or even tanks, it, it hits pretty hard. If you're Blood Angels, for example, you get an extra plus one to wound. <laughs> Going after a tank of one guy. That's pretty nice. And remember, power mauls aren't expensive. They're only five points. I mean, thunder hammers and stuff like that. <sighs> very, very expensive. Power fists, they're ten points. Yeah, alright, okay. Um, it's it's going to do more damage if it hits. But it's got minuses to hit anyway. So I, I do worry a little bit. It is strength times two or power fist. Yes, it's eight. But like I said, if you're blood angels, do you really care anyway? It's minus one to hit. Yes, you have minus three AP. It's a flat two damage now, which is nice. Whereas before it was D3. And if you're like me, if it's D3, it's going to be one damage. But I do like the look of a power fist. And for me, rule of cool. Power fists do look epic, but it would be nice to see some power mauls on the table. So, a power maul does one less damage, granted, but I don't know. I don't know. It, they are cheap. They're only five points.
But yeah, so this guy has all the pistol options as well. So you can have a bolt pistol for free. That's a standard. Grav pistols, five points. Hand flamer, inferno pistol, and plasma pistol. So the inferno pistol is basically a stubby little melter. So it's a, just a standard little melter pistol. So as you probably know, most pistols like that, special type of pistols, are only range six. So range six, uh, strength eight. So it's basically a very, very short range melter. But remember, melters now, if they're within half the range, so within three inches, it now has the uh, damage characteristic of a D6 plus two, which I think is pretty nice because it gives you a better minimum damage and maximum. Whereas before it was like you pick two dice, sorry, you roll two dice and pick the highest. If you get both ones, not cool. Um, but yeah, uh, what else have you got here? You got plasma pistol, uh, which is still pretty good. Uh, hasn't changed at all. I never supercharge because I'm always worried it's going to blow up. But the power um, plasma pistol and the bolt pistol have range twelve, which is pretty cool. Uh, plasma pistol. It does one damage if you don't supercharge it, but I think it's always pretty reliable anyway, without supercharging this is. Um, minus 3 AP, strength 7 is always nice. I generally run Mephiston with any of my Blood Angels lists, because I love that guy. Uh, and I've only once in God knows how many years supercharged the pistol, and it killed him, so never again. Because uh, it doesn't matter how many wins you got, you're a dead man. But no, it, they've got some great weapons, great weapon choices. I do think the models just look wicked. The different options and shoulder pads, uh, different face options, like the guy with the beard I was talking about. It does look mean as. Looks like he never smiles. But yeah, please tell me if I'm doing something wrong. I honestly can't see the difference in picking a combi, uh, combi weapon over a regular special weapon. Yes, it takes up a special slot, but why pick the special weapons? Why not pick a heavy weapon choice? Because each of these guys are 20 points. So if you decide to have four and make one a special, and you give it a regular, I don't know, grav rather than a combi grav, I don't, I don't see the difference. I've probably missed the trick here. Please, please tell me. Um, but I would rather pick a heavy weapon. And for 10 points, I do like a heavy flamer. Yeah, you're going to have more range with a heavy bolter. And it is three shots, and you have to roll the number of shots from these guys. And if you're like me, you're probably going to roll a one. But I just like the idea of, like, drenching the infantry in front of you with flame. Yeah, that's just me. But no, I think they're a fantastic unit. they just got a lot of, I don't know, a, little, a lot of character about them. I know this guy looks like he's got a bit of pomp, but you can make them whatever you want them to look like. Um, and I mean, regular tactical marines were quite universal anyway. Swapping weapons over, swapping poses over. But in here, you've got the hand option for throwing a grenade, hand option for reloading a weapon. They just look so much more tactical and boss. They really do. And that's just my opinion. Uh, please tell me your opinion. Uh, if you ever use these guys, uh, please let me know in the comments section how you got on with them, especially in this latest edition. If you've got any great stories, please let us know. We always like to hear it. If not in the comments section, on our Facebook page, which is uh, House of Chaos Community. And that goes for any pictures as well. If you want to share any pictures of these guys painted up, or if you've got any other models, 40k, AOS, whatever the game doesn't have to be Games Workshop. We always want to see your miniatures painted on our page. It's nice to see a busy hobby community. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And thank you for listening to my rambling on. Take care and hobby safe.